previously on Every School Has. What am I gonna have for dinner when I get home? Students, that drive me crazy every single day. What? This is why your chair's gonna break. What do you mean? Kim, I thought you were just a background character. This one too desired to be recognized. How is it your waist is smaller than your boobs? How is it your butt still fits in that chair? I eat a sandwich. Eat a salad. What's that noise out here coming from here, right? Shut up! Everyone's expelled! Got it! Yes, ma'am. Looks like you've all met your match. So you think she really meant it when she said we were all expelled? Miss Pumpernickel does not play with stuff like this. You all should have stopped when I asked you to. But nobody wanted to listen to me. We're oh, sorry, Miss Aunt Shirley. Technically, I didn't do anything. It doesn't matter. She said everyone. But I can't leave school. Unlike all of you people, I actually have my future planned out. College. An actual job. NASA. I see having your own family isn't among your list of successes. Shut up, stupid. Up. Now, Miss Pumpernickel has already laid down the law on every single person in here. Now, I suggest you all keep it down and get your act together. Well, why does it matter? We've already been expelled. Because Miss Pumpernickel has done this before. Last year, she told one of my students that he was expelled, but of course, she didn't mean it, and he didn't know that. She just wanted him to get his act together. Not knowing that she didn't mean it, he got his act together. I suggest every single person do the same. Oh, it no matter to me. I transfer to school next week. Oh, thank goodness. Of course, I mean, you'll, you'll be greatly missed. I get that a lot. Yeah, I'm sure you do. You'll shut your stupid face! Why don't you come over here and make me? I will wreck you! I will wreck you! Let me get up! Oh, girls, stop! Do you really want to be expelled? Really, it doesn't matter to me. Every day here is hell on earth. Is it because you can't stand any of us? Yes, definitely that. Bridget, I just think you got jealousy over all of us. What is there to be jealous of over, Asha? You're a ghetto chick who can't stay in her seat. Calvin's only hobby is school. Nobody likes kimchi, and Kristen is fat. So is your head, but I left it alone. Now how come you two were never able to get along? Yeah, what's that story? You know, to be fair, you two, nobody likes Kristen. Oh, so your name's nobody now. You know what I mean. I'll have you know, everybody in here calls me their best friend. Right, Madison? Ashton? Asha? I just don't understand why you all can't behave yourselves and look out for your own future. Why can't y'all do that? I don't. Why do I get in trouble for everybody else's retardation? Calvin, like I told everybody, it was just something to scare you all into getting your acts together. Nobody in here is getting expelled. But what happens when everybody else wants to act out again? I'm going to get expelled when I'm innocent. NASA, Miss Aunt Shirley. NASA! Right now, I wish you were up in space. At least that's one thing we can agree on. 
Don't run in the moment. Look, why don't we all just settle down for a little bit? We'll take a break from the test. And look, we'll talk about what you all want to do with your future. Calvin, NASA? Me and NASA has always been my dream. And I believe you can make something of that. Bridget, what about you? Oh, she'd never make it into NASA. Considering seeing you at school every day is torturous enough, NASA's not really one of my options. No, I want to be a makeup artist. Finish school and I'm sure you can make it there. I know I will. I practiced with makeup since I was only eight years old. You've been practicing for that long and this is what you show us? Kristen, what about you? What do you want to do in the future? Eight. You do that now. Okay, but what about a job to pay for all this food? Sometimes I take the grapes out of the bag at the grocery store. This girl just eat and eat and eat and eat. When did you say you transferred? Ashton, what about you? It's always been my dream as a kid to become a famous guitar player. Just standing on the stage and hearing the crowd. Ah, Ashton, we love you. Ah. How about you, Madison? A librarian. Tell oh, why wow, that's boring. <laughs> Asha. A drug dealer. Why exactly? Because people would depend on me. I want to be famous sushi chef. Make sushi for all the good people. Kim Chi, did I ask you? You get on my nerves. Don't disrespect me. Stupid head. To the principal. Yeah, I leave. Hey, bring me back some lunch. No? Okay. All right, now that everybody's calm, how about the rest of you get to work on your test? I'm still waiting on my extra crunch itch. Calvin, as I said before, it's not necessary in your case. But I'll take all I can get. What do you do in your spare time? Starting. Wow, you are so boring. And I'm so hungry. When is lunch? Like every other day at 11 o'clock. Too long. Didn't you eat breakfast today? Do you even have to ask? No, actually, I didn't. That's surprising. Who said that? Uh, over here? You're awake. Yeah, so? You're literally never awake. It's really not that serious. Uh, it's about as serious as the end of the world. Yeah, we may never get to see this again. I'll tell you what's really important. I can burp the names of any food y'all want to see? Uh, no, we're good. Please, no. Kristen, please don't. Okay, great. It's <laughs> Bubble wings. Roast.
Okay, we get the point. We get the point. Why'd you send me this one? <sighs> she was disrespecting me earlier. So, doesn't mean I want her in my presence. My apologies. All of you are stupid. Stupid! Welcome back. Oh, thank you for my welcome. We like it when you're gone. I am so glad to know I was missed. You weren't. Not by a long shot. Okay, shut up now. I know you all miss me, but now it's time to learn. Please just go back. All right, I'm sure we can all get along with kimchi. Besides, we've never given her a chance, now have we? Kim, how about you go ahead and get finished with the test? Are your boo so low? Get out! I never like y'all. Never like y'all. So you really didn't eat breakfast this morning? No, I ate two. Oh my gosh. Shut your face, you know, just shut your face. Shut your face. Kristen, is that really appropriate? About as appropriate as you trying to teach when nobody here is listening. I'm listening. Yeah, but you really don't count as a person. You're such a polite person. Ain't I though? I told you you didn't want Kim Jong in my office. It's Kim Chi. Surely no offense. I wish you were in the hospital. Watch your body language, miss. What's your name, Miss Asha? Asha, I like your style. Really? Head to the end. How did you fall out of that chair, look? Yeah, I'm the fall out chair girl. Is that so? Well, I must say that. It, excuse my tongue. Well, I must say. To my office! Today? If you please? What's she gonna do with her? Usually, it ends in the suspension. Is it 11 yet? Are you at lunch at the moment? No. Then please shut up. I bet you're single. Why do you say that? Well, for one, you're moody. And you're not the prettiest woman by far. Your voice sounds like the alert of a tornado watch. You're not at all that interesting. Hey, I get it. You can also use an uplift. 
Calvin! <laughs> See a problem with your face. What were you two talking about down there? That does require for you to know. No, see? So we still going for bowling this Saturday? Girl, without a doubt, we are going bowling Saturday. You have got to be kidding me. 